What you knew starting this year has now vastly changed. Everything prior was easy. You did things because it's how you've always done things. Now it's become more difficult. Things that were quite a problem are now becoming a huge problem. And frankly, your mediocre suppliers are having a negative impact on you and your operation. But really then on the other hand, that you have the, the suppliers are, who are a partner to you in your operation. They're a trusted advisor. They have incredible impact on how you're currently doing things. And not everyone is in the position to give you these ideas or these suggestions. Really, they're, they're trying to survive themselves. And that's okay. But that's why you need to evaluate your suppliers on three uh, broad topics. And let me hit all three right now. The first way you need to evaluate your partners is really evaluate them on how they're acting. It's how are they treating you? You know, you can tell a lot about somebody on how they treat you in the good times, but also the bad times. Under stress really pulls out people's true colors. So how are they acting? Are they empathetic? Are they polite? Are they respectful? Are they nasty, mean, um, anxious, uh, they stress? You can hear it all in their voices. The second is evaluate them on their knowledge. Is during these times you can test somebody's knowledge. Are they giving you ideas? Are they giving you suggestions? Are they helping you uh, reduce the current situation you're in? And three, evaluate their business model. And a good example of this is I had a client, we had a video conference call with them and the director didn't want to ask me this question, but I, uh, I, I kind of hit it head on. Are you going to be around in the next 12 months? Essentially what he asked. And I gave him the, the key points of how we'll not only be around but and survive these times, but we'll also be thriving in the months to come. So uh, evaluate them on their current business models because they, you need them to survive and thrive yourself. And you don't need a strategic partner being gone in a month and a half. It's just not a good business proposition. After you decide on who your strategic partners are, you're going to see a beneficial impact on your operation, but also your professional life, your human and um, collateral damage. So you have to put up with the good and the bad. Uh, the good suppliers are going to help you uh, make your career and your job and your responsibility fun, exciting, easier, better, more efficient. And bad suppliers are going to cause you stress, cause you anxiety, uh, keep you up at night, keep you frustrated, yeah, and sometimes just pissed off. When you work with the great partners, a good test, and, and this kind of goes back to the points of the evaluation, is they make things easier on you. They don't make it more difficult. My name is Nate Anglin, and I would love to share some ideas with you on how our current clients are succeeding despite these times, and I would love to explore how you can do this as well. Uh, feel free to message me wherever you can, down below, up top, around, or on our website. It'll come to me, and I'd be happy to explore these with you. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and we'll get through this together.